Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know where to start to thank this living God. But as of a month ago, I, I'm a teacher by profession, but towards that period I started the exam, I wasn't getting myself. Sometimes, if I eat like more than a week, it look as if the food is on my chest for like a weekend. So I went to the hospital, I complained. They said that that is the sign of ulcer. They said everything, they gave me some drugs, some antibiotics and some drugs. I took those drugs. I didn't get myself. I didn't keep on disturbing me. I was having some pain over here. Constant pain that I don't even get my what even though when I'm at school, I'm just managing myself with all my strength. But unfortunately, I keep on praying. I say I know that I'm not always at the ministry, but God, others that is representing me, use them to do miracle in my life. That is what I keep on praying. And we think later, I said I have to go for a scan. I went for a scan. The, the, the scan came out, they say it's abdominal, rapture of the abdominal vessel, something like that. After it's, they analyze the, the scan, I said, I think well, I keep on praying. The, keep, the pain still continues. Every day, they have to give me, they give me two doses of injection in the morning, in the evening. One is an and the other one is antibiotics for pains and for, for the relief of what is Happen depends on bearing. But they want to go for there is another test that says I have to run. Many tests have been running. I said, I don't know. God, just take absolute control. I don't want to talk too much pertaining the test. Let me put everything in God's hand. They say, Whether I buy done a fresh and append this. I say, Yes, for long. That cannot be appended because that is, this thing sometimes it hook me as if it's like warm. But when it starts, I won't get myself. It look as if all my body is turning. As if I want to faint. So I keep on bearing the pains, keep on praying, praying. After the first scan, they say after two weeks, I will repeat another scan. After two weeks, I repeated another scan. That is scan. They say that that now that I don't eat well. I say I always eat. That make sure I, I eat in the morning. Even though when I'm going to school, I must I'm always going in, but I must rush. I must go with my food. Take before eight o'clock, I must eat in the morning. They, they keep on, they say that there is fluid, that the fluid rise up. That is the second scan. That fluid rise up. That they need to follow another test. Like five tests. Uh, this one, HVS, v, uh, HVS test, urine test, culture test. This one, all the tests. After running the test, they brought out the, the, <laughs> the results. They still... No, it's not HIV, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they conducted that, but it's not that. So, they, after the results, they analyze it, they start explaining, explaining. They don't want to tell me what is actually the problem. I say, what is actually the problem? They say that they will not understand the English. I say, I will understand any English you say that will understand it. My God will always understand. So, after they explain, they say that the only thing is that, the only thing I understand is that that's Antibiotics that they gave me, as of that first time, that that thing was disturbing me. They said that it's in form of ulcer. I say it can't be ulcer because I'm always eating in the morning. That's why I'm, I don't. I'm always eating in the morning. So the, after that antibiotic, they said that the, an, that antibiotic was fighting against me. That is not for me. So as they repeated that five and uh, five, um, uh, as the result came out, the other culture test said that. That all my system is resistant to the drugs that they are giving me sense for the past one month. That the that the injection that they have been giving me is resistant. Or oh, only like eight injections is what my body can take. Or antibiotics I mean that my body can take. So they they analyze it. Only three. They refer me to another hospital. From there, I went to that hospital after seeing the doctor. After everything, they wrote out just three antibiotics that they wrote out for me. I think for 14 days, I keep on praying, putting it in prayer. So I, I, as of last week, that was still under that drugs. Then I came to the ministry. I was going to the ministry. 
to the other side before I saw one of her sisters. She told me that we are no, no, no longer at the other ministry. As I came, that last week when I came here, I tabled the matter to God. I said, God, let you take absolute control. Because I don't know. I've run a series of tests. I don't understand. But I know that you can do everything. Even though when we was praying, I keep on putting and put it in. I table the matter to God. Say, God, please fight my battle. I know that may sinner, but anything that is a problem, just heal me. I will keep on serving you because you are a great God. Then later, after we close, Sister Judah said, who, who are those that need prayer? I told Sister Judah that I need prayer. One voice said, don't bother about that prayer that you are already healed. That is how I believe. I, that voice came and said that I'm already healed. I said, God, I believe it and so shall he be the mighty name. As I left to that day, I was very happy. See, that day, I have no, that pace, I have not repeated this sex. I thank you, know, Lord. That pace has not occurred. I went, I went, after my drop on Friday, being last week, I went for checkup. They said there is nothing. Sister, Sister Chibuzo. It's a wonderful healing that took place right away here from Bethel Adoration Fire Ministry, Lagos State Chapter here. Last week, testimony service like today, she came here with this kind of problem. Nobody can perform this kind of miracle except Jesus. Yes, sir. Doctors cannot cure. She went to different hospitals and scanned. Nobody could cure this kind of problem. She came to Jesus and instantly, since that day, last testimony service, she got her healing. You are all over the world. Wherever you are watching me now, I'm telling you that Jesus can still locate you. Yes, you can receive your healing. Yes, Jesus can touch you, whether you are in the office, whether you are in the business field, whether any country where you are hearing me now. Just lay your hands in any instrument you are using to watch us now. And believe that God that healed our sister will also heal you. Yeah. This country man, I command that healing to locate you now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. God can heal our sister. And she's giving this kind of testimony. That God is still available for you. Yeah. This chance is not a barrier. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, sister, what do you have to tell the world? What advice you want to give to them? Concerning what you have just seen the Lord is doing in this ministry. What I have to say, my brothers and sisters, in whatever situation you are passing through, hope on God. Don't hope on human beings. Only God that will lift you high and heal you. Thank you. Glory be to God. So if you are there watching me from any country, anywhere you are, I just want to tell you, if there is any sickness that is troubling, you don't need to go to human beings. Especially those ones doctors cannot cure. Believe me, the God of Bethel Adoration Ministry will heal you. Yes. Yes. I want to use this opportunity to let you know that if you have not given your life to Jesus, that man that will heal you, that man that you will call, you will answer. You better give your life to Jesus. There is no postponement, there is no delaying. Automatically give your life to Jesus. And call me online, later we are going to tell you the phone numbers. And uh, you can SMS me, you can email me, you can call any of the numbers, and then we will help you. I'm assuring you that this kind of miracle will locate you. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Your healing shall be permanent. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. No sickness will come across you again. Yeah. No demonic statement will come across your life. Yeah. As Lord Jesus has healed you, it shall be permanent. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 